Hello everyone. This is a tutorial for Viola Orchestra excerpt from the March. It's the uh, Orchestra excerpt number two. Uh, there were a lot of accidentals, so uh, very often, sometimes we need, we need to play on the second position. Uh, make sure you got, get a copy with my fingering on it. Okay. I will post this in uh, our on our Google Classroom. Uh, I when you play music like this, I recommend that first don't work on the rhythm. Just get the notes and fingerings. Okay, so you can play everything like half note or quarter note. Ignore the rhythm. If the notes are all repeated notes, you can skip. You just you can just play once. Now, for instance. I start from the D, pinky D, A, D, B flat, and then the C sharp, now the first finger remain on the string, half position now, pinky C, the A flat is the same thing as the previous G sharp. So that's why make sure your first finger remain on the G sharp. Let me play on the second measure. Half position. Four. One. Back to first position. Use pinky for the F sharp. Don't use a three. Because I use the three for the regular C. Now the third measures, second finger, fourth finger, and then second finger air. Now don't 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 shoot back one finger. You need to stay in the second position. Two, one, one, two, and then one. And then a three. Now the A sharp first finger remain on the string. Don't let go because it's come back. Now go to half position here. Second finger, upbow, pinky, and then number four. Now A sharp. I use pinky, three, open, now here, the one thing on the A is not good to go to the half position with first finger, leap to the D sharp, so I recommend you go to the third position. So let me play the last measure of the second line one more time. And then back to first. F natural. Now another way to do the last measure of the second line is one finger on the A. Second, uh, one finger on the E, and then uh, place, uh, use the second finger to play the A. Now you're in half position, so that's a two, one, and then one. Let me explain one more time. One finger A, one finger E, now second finger on the A, half position, and then one, and then one. Let me uh, continue with the beginning of the third line. B. That's a C flat. And then back to A flat. Don't forget. Low, 
half step, B flat. Now, these three notes are half step. Make sure you, you these three fingers are closely together, close together. And then I go to half position. So let me play this measure one more time. Continue. And then the same thing. The only thing different is this time I don't go one one, I use a two. G sharp. I use pinky. I tend to use pinky for for the high suite instead of high suite. Half position. All half step. Same. instead of pinky I use three two one they're all half step and then I use one That's it, okay? Let me play the last measure one more time. And then the one finger, the C, go to the D. Second finger, I'm sorry, that's one finger on the D flat. And then second finger D. And then third finger on the E, uh, D sharp. And then E. You don't even even have to think. Just put the fingers down. They are all half step. Okay. Now, when you play this piece, make sure the difference between triplet and dotted eighth and a sixteenth. Okay. Don't play the dotted eighth and the sixteenth like triplet. Okay, this is triplet. Those are triplet. Okay, so you need to do. Okay, have fun practicing. Thank you so much for watching.